Welcome to our new EDM Cultural Presentation. This is Group F. Myself, Jennifer, Ellen and Oren will be comparing and contrasting China, Spain and Ireland. Language. Language is central to everything we do. It can come in many forms such as body language or verbal language. Communication such as eye contact. The first language I will be discussing is Spanish. Spanish is a very direct language. This contrasts with English. There is very little ambiguity with, when having a conversation with a Spanish person. They will get straight to the point and d ask exactly what they want to know. The Spanish language is also spoken at a very fast pace with high intensity. With very little room for sarcasm, it is deemed very rude in Spanish language to use sarcasm as they don't understand it and don't use it in, in the language. Okay, go. For example, when in a caf cafe asking for a cup of coffee, we us would usually say in English, could I have a coffee please? Whereas in Spain, it's more of a demand. They'll say, cafe, por favor. This directly translates to coffee please. This is different in our culture because if you just demanded a coffee, the barista would look at you and think you're very rude. Communication style. They are not, in Spain, they are not particularly comfortable with silence in social situations. Spain is a low context culture because when they're communicating, they get straight to the point and have no problem expressing their feelings. When the conversation does fall quiet, it may be perceived to, pre to reflect badly on the conversation and their relationship with the conversation partner. Spanish people use many slurs throughout the conversation. Spanish people frequently use hand gestures when speaking and are very expressive. Eye contact is also very impor important in Spanish language as it shows how enthusiastic you are when communicating with the other person. Bilbao. Bilbao is a city in the north of Spain, in the Basque country. Basque is spoken here. It is a minority language similar to Irish. In Bilbao, they are very proud of their language. It has similar importance, importance in society. You must be able to speak Basque fluently at a very high level in order to become a police officer. This is similar to the previous law in Ireland that was... This is very similar to the law that was enforced in Ireland in previous years but has now been lifted due to diversity. Cantonese. Cantonese is a high context culture. Speech is ambiguous with other statements often made. The purpose of this is to maintain harmony throughout the conversation and to pre prevent a loss of face in the exchange. Pausing before giving a response is often deemed as polite. This shows that you have given thought to your response. In China, in China, Hong Kong natives tend to stand very close together when communicating. This is different in Spain and Ireland, as they stand further away from each other when speaking, and it would be very uncomfortable if someone spoke very closely to you. Winking is also considered very rude in Hong Kong, whereas in Ireland or Spain it's considered flirty, playful or fun. Culture. Culture. Culture is the ideas, customs and social behaviour of a particular society or people. The Hong Kong population is mostly made up of those who are Cantonese. However, Cantonese, British and Indian also make up a significant part of the population which people seem to be unaware of. Many Chinese concepts like family solidarity, family glory, saving the face and modesty also carry significant weight in Chinese culture, especially in Hong Kong. They take representing their family name with great pride and everything they do will therefore affect their family's name. Hong Kong has a very sophisticated and extremely cosmopolitan society. This blends in with Asian and European cultures. This could be influenced by them being under British rule and control for so long. Perceived society, an individual's actions perceived Education, wealth, and reputation reflect positively or negatively on the entire family. Any action that may discredit or tarnish the family name may lead to a person being shunned by their immediate family. Bilbao. Bilbao can be described as the cultural epicenter as there is a clear mixture of not only Spanish but Basque culture too. There is an ever growing population which is currently seen to be 354,000. The city is very culturally diverse and contemporary located in northern Spain as Jennifer said in the previous slide. 
94% of the population are Roman Catholic or in some way are connected to this religion. The social stratification of Spain is now very much based upon US and European concepts of class, wealth and upward mobility. Family. The size of traditional families has changed drastically over the years and they have downsized as there's no need for extremely large family, much like here in Ireland. It is common in Spain to live in pisos, which are small apartments in the centre of the city. Family can provide not only social but financial support and is the basis of most social structures within Spanish society. This is extremely similar to Irish families, as family is extremely important and they are extremely close-knit. Social norms are things that are usual, typical or standard in a society. Censorship is a big part of Chinese culture, whereas Hong Kong has enjoyed a very high level of autonomy in China, this is changing, with the Chinese government trying to impose higher levels of censorship. This came to a peak in 2014 when the students of the Hong Kong Baptist University organised the Umbrella Protests. Um, in Hong Kong, there are many norms and customs that might seem strange for Irish people. People have very small personal space bubbles, yet seem to hate contact. This can cause problems when running into cultures that have um, a lot of contact in their culture, such as French people. For example, a French person will go to kiss you on the cheek or touch your shoulder, whereas Hong Kong people hate that and will not be able for it. It is also expected that you give up your seat, your place in line, anything for an older person in need. Older people have the utmost respect in Hong Kong and, are, and Hong Kong Older people have the utmost respect in Hong Kong, and the culture practices seniority. All food in Hong Kong is shared. For example, when you go into a restaurant with three people, you'd only buy two meals. This is because the food will come in very, very different bowls of different shapes and sizes, and these are all designed for sharing. Once again, older people are always respected. If you go to have a meal in a house in Hong Kong, and it is time to fill up the tea, you will always fill up the older person's tea first before filling your own. This is because it is seen respectful for the older people and also it is rude to serve yourself first. There are many things you should do when visiting Hong Kong though. You should take lots of photos. The people in Hong Kong love photos. They take photos everywhere they go, so they expect you to take photos when you are there also. They also love if you ask them questions. They are all fluent in English, they love speaking it, so they will jump at the opportunity to speak English back to you. They have some amazing teas in Hong Kong, hibiscus, darjeeling, so many chais. They are very proud of their teas and they are very proud of their culture and to share it with you. Things you shouldn't do when you're in Hong Kong? Never ever place your chopsticks down vertically in your bowl. This means that you have just lost somebody close to you or you're attending a funeral. Never try to get a taxi at rush hour. It is impossible. During the hours of three to four, the whole city becomes gridlocked on both sides. So you should plan your days around this. Never try speaking Mandarin. Mandarin isn't well spoken in Hong Kong. Most people speak it, but it is like a second language to them. So usually speaking English is better off because you will know it better and so will your people. Don't speak in broken English though, because this is insulting. Hong Kong people have learned English their whole life in school and are most likely fluent. So by speaking in broken English, you're insulting not only their education, but also themselves. Don't be embarrassed by silence. It happens a lot in Hong Kong, especially in conversation. Silence is used as a way of pondering, whereas in Spain, silence is embarrassing or awkward. In Hong Kong, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Never ever try to kiss a Hong person's cheek. This is seen as rude and very forward and they would totally not know how to react to such a situation. To conclude, I will talk about norms and customs in Bilbao. Food is everything in the Basque land. Wine is drank with everything and people drink it everywhere. Shellfish is, is huge with baked spider crab as a, with baked spider crab as a must try. Pinchos are common and you can buy up to 20 plates at a time. Chorizo, calamari, olives, anything you want. It is, uh, for every tourist, they should buy pinchos at least once. You can drink wine anywhere you go in the Basque land. You can drink wine on the train, you can drink wine in the park. It is completely socially accepted. Whereas in a country such as America or Ireland, it would be, it would be 
unheard of to drink um, alcohol outside in the street. This can be a shock when you first get there, but you'll soon get used to it. Basque culture is very strong, and the people of Bilbao are so proud of their heritage. There are many songs, festivals, sports, everything. They, are, they have a huge national pride, and every year they have festivals such as the Oncari festivals, where they have dances in the street. Be sure to enjoy the festivities, but treat them with respect, because Basque people have lived for a very long time, keeping their culture distant from the rest of Europe. We learnt a lot on our project. We learnt about Hong Kong culture, we learnt about the Basque land. We hope you learnt as well. It was very interesting to, to learn about two such different cultures, but also see things that are common in both of them. I would love to visit both of these countries. They, they are so interesting and it was enjoyable doing this project.